How's it going everybody? Nolan Guthrie back with another quick video. This time uh, I got a video request from our Facebook group that asked if I could do a video about how to check your lawn for bugs. Here in Idaho we have two major pests that seem to be pretty prevalent in our lawns. We're dealing with mostly bill bugs and chinch bugs and they're very common pests. A lot of people deal with it and I'm going to show you how to check for them and so you can treat for them properly. The first thing you're going to want to do is identify where the good and the bad grass are coming together. Sometimes this can be a little more pronounced and other times it may be a little less clear, but you want to find areas that have clearly good growing grass and areas that are not quite dead yet. In this area we're going to cut a small section of the lawn out. We're going to use a shovel and we're going to take out about a one foot by one foot square with some of the soil. Now a lot of people will ask why you would take such a large sample out of the lawn and we want to make sure that the, we get a lot of roots here. We also want to see the soil so we can notice any issues that may be going on in addition to the bug issues. What's nice about this soil is when we're all done we can just put it right back in the lawn and it'll regrow and recover with the rest of the grass. So the first thing we're going to look for are chinch bugs. You do that, it's nice to have some sort of container. We want it to be kind of opaque so that you can't see through it. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your sample, put it in that container, and just kind of rough it up a little bit. You're going to get a whole bunch of chaff in there. It doesn't look like we have any here. But this is a really simple way to check for chinch bugs. Just rough it up a little bit and those guys will fall out and you'll be able to see them. If you've got a big infestation of chinch bugs, they're going to be swarming through this whole area. And then the next thing we're going to look for are grubs. Grubs are going to show up in this layer of the soil right here. Just at the soil level where the thatch and the soil are coming together, those guys are down in there wiggling around, eating the roots of the grass. Typically, when you have grubs, you'll be able to pull that grass up really easily. You can see we still have a fair amount of root here, and when we pull this out, there's no grubs. You'll usually see them crawling around right in here. There are little white grubs with a brown head. They have no legs, but that's your billbug larva. And right around in here is where they're going to show up. You can still. The good news is we didn't find any bugs in this section of the lawn. We'd actually already identified a watering issue in this area of the lawn. And if you want to see how to use the Dr. Jim Z's water audit kit, I'll put a link to that video in the description. It's not so much that we didn't find any here. What we've done is we've ruled out the possibility of bugs by checking. And this is how you're going to check your lawn for bugs really at any time of the year. Cutting out a section of that grass and checking the soil level and using that container to find any of those chinch bugs. If you did find chinch bugs and there was a whole bunch of them crawling around in that container, what you're going to want to use is Zamzo's chinch bug control. It has a topical insecticide and a systemic insecticide, so it will actually kill the bugs that are in the lawn right now and then protect the lawn for the next three months. If you found grubs in the soil, you're going to need to do a couple of things. First thing you're going to want to use is what's called 24-hour grub killer. It's a bare product that we have at Zamzo's and online at zamzos.com. You're going to want to apply that product, and then you can either apply the chinch bug control or our duration grub control, and that will protect the lawn again for another three months. But you want to get that 24-hour killer on there because it's going to get into the soil and kill those grubs really quickly so that you can start getting your lawn on the road to recovery. 